Hi, I'm Danny, and welcome to my channel. For today's video, I have my March update to the Project Yarnathon that was created by Andrea, or her channel is Pretty as a Peacock. This is a challenge that she created and started recently, and I decided to join along where basically we are trying to pan or use up a marathon's worth of yarn. So I've been keeping track of the yardage, and we're trying to see if we can make enough products to use up 26.2 miles worth of yarn. So I have started on this. This is a great push that I need to get back into my crocheting, to work on the projects that I have and basically work through my yarn stash. I have a ton of yarn. It needs to be used up. I need to make these projects and get them on out of my house and gifted to the people that I have in mind. So I will put my introduction video down below. I do have a link to Andrea's introduction video as well. And there are several other people who have joined along. If you just click on the hashtag, you will find other people. I don't know if there's an official playlist or not, but like I said, just search the hashtag and you will find people. So I've been working on these kits that I got. I have signed up through Annie's and I will have the link down below. It's called their Caring Crochet Kit Club. And I have several of them. They come in a little plastic bag every month. It comes with a pattern. It comes with the skeins of yarn. And then you make whatever item they have in there and it gives you a place to donate these items too. So the first item that I have finished is this gratitude scarf. This is the pattern that came with it. So it's just basically supposed to be this green scarf. It came with three skeins of yarn and I finished off one of the scarves according to the measurements and there was enough. So I ended up making two scarves out of the three skeins. So this is the scarf. It's folded in half, so it's a lot longer. But these will be donated to Operation Gratitude. These are something that is given out to military and first responding communities, um, people who volunteer and things like that, just as a way of saying thank you for all that they do. So I have finished these two scarves. So this is my first empty. Once a panner, always a panner. So this is my first project complete. Like I said, it did come with the three skeins of yarn right here. And each of these have 257 yards of yarn. I don't know if you can see that right there. So for this project, I used up 771 yards. So that is the first project done. Once I finished that one, I moved on to the next one. And this is again from the Annie's Caring Crochet Kit Club. This is a beautiful baby blanket that they sent the pattern for. It came with three of these skeins of yarn and it switches from the purple to the blue. And then there is brown in here as well. And I have started working on this baby blanket. It is so pretty. So I like the pattern. I like the holes. And then it just changes and just randomly switches to the different colors. So I've really been enjoying working on this blanket. I've only finished one of the skeins of yarn for this. And this is the yarn that it came with. And this one has 284 yards of yarn right here. So 284 plus 771, I've only used up 1,055 yards of yarn. I say only, it is a lot, but compared to how much I have, it's not a lot. <laughs> so that is all that I've been able to get done this month. This has been a great reminder and a great push to get back into this, ha not habit, this, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Craft, this hobby, that's the word that I have, where I love working with yarn. I'm a crocheter, but there are other people who are knitters who are doing this. Uh, if you wanna join us, feel free to do so. Um, what my goals are for this next month is I do wanna finish this baby blanket. I'm not quite halfway through. I have this skein and then I have another full one right here that I need to get through to finish making this blanket. And then I do need to put a border on it and then this blanket will be done. And this one is going to Project Linus. It's a place that takes blankets for babies and children and you can send them your blankets. I believe it's called, if you just search Google search Project Linus, you'll find all the information you need on that. So once I have finished this, I'm gonna keep going with these Annie's Kit Clubs things that I have, because I have so many of them. One of the next ones I wanna work on is this Lacy Shells Wrap. It's just beautiful, and it comes with like some ombre purple colored yarn. And then I do have this one that I also have out. This is a Comfort Wrap. 
and that is the pattern right there. So again, it comes with the yarn and everything that you need. I'm trying to think what else I need to tell you guys for these updates. It did seem like you wanted to see updates every month, which is good because it keeps me keeps me going and it keeps me wanting to crochet, to find time to crochet, I should say, so that I can show you some progress on this. I've been enjoying crocheting at night when I watch TV. I did it the other day when my daughter had a doctor's appointment, so I just sat in the waiting room and I just crocheted while I was out there. And then the other day I had a really stressful day and so I just sat right here, I pulled up YouTube, I watched some panning videos and I just crocheted while I did that and it really helped relax me. Uh, and it, yeah, helped relax me and I my mood changed quite a bit after I was doing that. So this has been a great project. I'm really happy that I joined. Like I said, it's open to anybody. So if you wanna join along, please feel free to. So with my 1,055 yards of yarn, I still haven't gone a mile. <laughs> A marathon is 26.2, so I have a long ways to go, but seeing how much I got done in one month, I think I can do it. It's going to take me at least a year, at least, unless I pick up my speed and really get into crocheting, but I, I think I can do it. So 1,055 yards and a mile is 1,760. So I have 705 yards to go to hit the first mile. And once I finish that blanket, I will almost be there. So that's why I think I can do it because I'm seeing how many projects it equals out to. And uh, here's hoping I can do it. So that is everything that I have. If there's more information that you want me to share in these updates, please let me know. I will have a link down below to, like I said, the Annie's Crochet Kit Club and then also to the Crochet Crowd. It is a YouTube video, YouTube channel that is started by Mikey. He's where I have picked up so many patterns. He offers so many of them for free. He has phenomenal tutorials. He teaches you how to read patterns and all of that. So I will have his YouTube channel linked down below in case you want to get into crocheting and you're looking for some inspiration. So that is everything that I have for you. If you haven't, I hope that you'll please subscribe to my channel before you go and ring that bell so you're notified every time I upload a new video. Thank you so much for stopping by.